Namaste. Hi. The techniques of Hatha Yoga are quite unique. They're given to prepare the body as well as to accept the energy we harness and produce from practicing them, leading to the awakening of the dormant centers in the brain. For example, this position, the Gomukhasana. If we practice this in conjunction with the Ajvini Mudra, the rhythmic contraction and the relaxation of the pelvic floor can stimulate the nerve clusters attached to the three fundamental nadis, Ida Pingala Shishumna, in the Kanda Nadi in the pelvic floor, where the first chakra of the spine, the astroanatomy, is located, the Muladhara chakra. And when you breathe the Ujjayi Pranayama in conjunction with this, and applying the Navu Mudra, the sealing of the surface of the tongue and Sihar palate, while magnetizing the optic muscles, the Shambhavi Mudra, whether internal or external, we effectively open the Ajna, the pituitary gland, that point where the top of the spine meets the base of the brain, and sitting is the Ajna, the third eye, the pituitary gland. So whatever energy we lift from the base goes straight up to there. Because at the top of that uh, energetic uh, point, the three fundamental nadis meet again. They start at the base, they branch out as they move up to the higher centers, and they intersect again in the ashna. And from there, these channels, these nadis will emit and release the energy, the unified force of the Shakti and the Prana, yeah. contained in the Soma, the cerebrospinal fluid flowing through the Shishumna Nadi. Therefore, at first, if we study Hatha Yoga, oh, seemingly they're basic? Yes, they are. But what's not written there is the underlying Elements are the underlying practices for this seemingly simple basic techniques to assume their energetic essence. So what is the lesson? What is the purpose of this talk? Yeah. What you see may not be as what they seem externally. Yeah. Because a yogi may just be sitting here, for example. But inside, so many higher observances, subtle techniques are applied. And these are manifested, these are attained through the years and years of practice. Yes, there may not be a handstand in other yoga. I do handstand because I love handstand. There might not be a headstand in Hatha Yoga. I do headstand because I love headstand. But I always return to the base, the tradition, yeah. and apply whatever I learn yeah, behind what you see externally into these techniques inside my body. Yes. And this.